first alert forecast. Another fall like day in store. In fact, this morning we're already running about 10 degrees cooler than this time yesterday morning, meaning we're down into the 50s and tomorrow morning getting even cooler. We're at 53 here in Fort Wayne as you get ready to head out the door. 50 degrees in Decatur, just barely holding on to the 50s at this point. 52 in Auburn, 52 in Paulding, 51 in Huntington as you get ready to head out the door. As for morning lows the next few days, the coldest morning tomorrow morning where we're waking up to the mid to upper 40s across the region. If the kids are headed out to the bus stop, a light jacket's a good idea, even you as you get ready for the morning commute. And for any of the motorcyclists out there, uh, tomorrow's going to be very chilly. So just keep that in mind as you get ready to head out too. Here's a look at that latest cold front that came through. Now that's all sweeping off to the east coast. High pressure and control for the Great Lakes region. That's going to keep us sunny, dry, and really uneventful. There's not a whole lot of change to this forecast. Future track will show some passing clouds, but a lot of sunshine really maintaining a very quiet trend over the next few days and sunshine still in store for tomorrow. The morning hours are chilly, but if you're going to do anything like go to the golf course today, it's actually a really great day to be able to take advantage of this fall like trend. Temperatures by the middle part of the afternoon are slowly starting to make their way into the upper 60s and low 70s for highs. We don't have quite as much wind today compared to what we had yesterday. Yesterday we had wind speeds out of the north about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Today only about 5 to 10. So that lowers a little bit, but our temperatures are lowering a bit too. The overall weather pattern is cool for now, but heating up soon, especially by the weekend. This weekend will feel like outright summer where we go into the upper 80s, even close to 90 degrees by the start of next week. It just takes us some time to be able to work our way to that. This is your rainfall forecast, though, for the next seven days. While it's great for outdoor activities, having not a lick of rain, not so great for the growing season. So keep in mind any of the gardeners, farmers out there, Mother Nature, unfortunately, really not helping us out with any relief when it comes to the dry forecast. And the next week ahead, even with the pattern flip we have in store, is not going to be changing up anytime soon. Low 70s for today and tomorrow. Again, a very cold start to tomorrow morning. If you like to leave the windows open for the next few days, you might want to close them at night just because of how cool it's going to get. Low 50s by early Thursday morning. By Friday, your high temperatures up to 80 degrees. This weekend, slowly warming things up. Sunday into Monday, upper 80s and low 90s. Listen, some people might be putting in their PTO day for Monday right now. <laughs> oh, I, I can already hear Liz. the emails being sent out. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a hot day, but it is August, so what do we expect? Yeah, got to enjoy the summer-like days while you can. That's true. Okay, Liz.